thank you. We thank you, Lord, for, for gathering us here tonight, oh God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for what you have begun to do and are about to do. Yes. Lord, we thank you, oh God. And Lord, we just want to lift up the name of Jesus tonight, Amen. oh God. All over this place, all over the city, all over the Houston Amen. area, oh God. Jesus, yes, so we Jesus. thank you, Father, for everyone who is joining in tonight, oh my Father. Yes, so we pray, oh my Father, Lord, that you would lead us in all that we do tonight, oh God. And Lord, may all glory and all honor and all praise go to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we put our hands together? Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. You know, tonight as we're going to worship the Lord, I want you to, you know, this is, a, we, are, we, are, we are praying, you know, and God has been moving in the city already. We can see so many signs of what's happening. And we've been praying and interceding for the last, you know, about 10 years back, right in this place, we started our first two nights. We did a concert, we had a gathering with Pastor Doug Stringer. And I believe that, you know, the last 10 years and also throughout the city, there's some things happening. And I know the season that we're getting into is going to be a different season. It's not going to be like yesterday. God is bringing us into a season of harvest. God is bringing in a season of receiving the things that we've been praying for. Amen. Can I get an amen in this house? And let's put our hands together and give a warm welcome to the, to the Dominion Chapel Band. Hallelujah. 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 Do I have some believers in the house tonight? Come on, somebody clap those hands if you love Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says God is seeking for worshipers that will worship Him in spirit and in truth. If you came here tonight ready to worship, why don't you lift up your hands to heaven and just open up your mouth and begin to exalt the name of the Lord. He's holy, He's faithful, and He's a righteous God. He's the same yesterday, He's the same today, and He's the same forever. He's the great God. And tonight we come, Father, into Your presence with a heart of worship. We come to worship You because You are the greatest God. There is no God like You. We bow down in Your presence. Come on, just lift up Your voice and sing unto the Lord a new song. Holy Spirit, we invite You in this place tonight. Have your way as we worship you. Hallelujah. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Sing it together, light of the world.
magnified Hallelujah 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 Come on, let's lift up our hands and worship Hallelujah Father, we bless you Thank you for your presence that is already here We appreciate you and we bless your name In Jesus' name we worship and the church say amen. amen I can hear you shout a big amen. amen I know you can do better shout a big amen. amen now how many of you know we serve a great God our God is greater our God is stronger our God is higher than any other hallelujah why don't you make some noise if you know you serve a great God hallelujah hallelujah we're going to do this song that says, our God is greater, our God is stronger, our God is higher than any other. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you glad to be here tonight in God's presence? Why don't you walk up to somebody and just welcome them into God's presence and just shake them and love on them and just tell them how beautiful they're looking. You're looking handsome, sir. You're looking beautiful. You're looking beautiful. I see the love of the Lord all around you. Clap your hands, come on.
Our God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other, our God is healer, awesome in power, our God, our God, now you lift your voice and say, our God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other, our God is healer, awesome in power, our God. say this together we're gonna to say you are greater you are stronger there's no one like you in all the earth can we say that say you are greater you are stronger there's no one like you in all the earth hallelujah The Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. The Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. Can somebody here testify to the goodness of the Lord in your life? He brought you through January and now we're in December. It's by the faithfulness of God that we're here tonight. So we're just going to tell him, Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Come on, hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Come on. Woo.
endorse forever hallelujah hallelujah how many of you are desperate for the Lord how many of you want more of him how many of you want to experience a, a higher dimension of his presence hallelujah we worship you in this place Holy Spirit we invite you in this place hallelujah this is the air I breathe This is the air I breathe Your holy presence Living in me This is my daily bread Say This is my daily bread You are my daily bread, Jesus my day, yeah. your holy word, your holy word, spoken to me, spoken to me, and I, and I, I'm desperate for you. Are you Lord God? 
of kings, the Lord of lords, the one that sits on the throne in heaven and rules in the affairs of men. Let's just go ahead and worship him. Let's just glorify his name. Let's adore him. Let's honor him. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be adored. He is worthy to be exalted. Let's thank him. Let's thank him for our lives. Let's thank him for the city of Stafford. Let's thank him for Houston. Let's thank him for the Pastor Dog's life. Let's thank him for all the leaders and all the fathers we have in the city. Let's just worship and appreciate the name of the Lord God Almighty. He is worthy. He is faithful. He is a kind and merciful God. He is a covenant keeping father. Let's just go ahead and worship the name of the Lord. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Now let's put those hands together for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The Ancient of Days, the Alpha and the Omega. The one that was before the beginning. The one that shall continue to exist after the end. He is the Lord God Almighty that sits outside of time yet controls the seasons of men. Let's just worship the name of this God. In Jesus name we have worshipped. Amen. Can we put our hands together one more time for the Dominion Chapel Choir, please? Now, while we wait for the next group that will come and minister to the Lord, in the book of Revelations, Revelations chapter 11, verse 15, the Bible says, And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. The kingdom of Houston shall become the kingdom of our God. The kingdom of this territory shall become the kingdom of our God. The authority over this city shall be the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. Now, the church will need to come together. We need to be part of a move like this. The Bible speaking in the book of Mark chapter 3. The Bible says, what manner of man we, are we when a man wants to take oath of a strong man's house? The Bible says the first thing we do is that we bind the strong man. Amen. The strong man over the city of Houston. Yes. The Bible speaking, the Bible said one shall chase a thousand, two shall chase ten thousand. When the church comes together, we generate authority and power. We want to dethrone every spirit. Every spirit of the bond woman. Every spirit of the gay agenda that's ruling over Houston. We want to pull down their strongholds. We want to come together as the might and the, the strong arm of God on earth. And exercise divine authority. For as long as we sleep, heaven will wait for us to act. So tonight, I want you to grab the hand of someone beside you and I want us to pray like soldiers. We are soldiers for the Lord God Almighty. We are soldiers for the kingdom of God. I want you to grab the hand of someone and I want you to speak into the heavens over the city of Stafford, over the city of Houston, over everywhere from the north to the south, the east and the west. I want you to bind every satanic strongman ruling over this atmosphere i want you to bind them with fetters of iron in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i want you to step into the realm of spiritual warfare pull down their stronghold bind them with fetters of iron resist their move in the name of jesus and i want you to establish the righteousness of god over this land in the name of jesus from city to city from stafford to, from Stafford to Sugarland to Katy to Houston, everywhere. I want you to establish the authority, the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. Righteousness exalts the nation, but sin is a reproach. Every reproach of sin, we uproot your foundations tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we establish the righteousness of Christ. We establish the righteousness of God over this land in the name of Jesus Christ. We command the fire of God to move over this land. We burn to stubble. We burn to ashes. Every strange altar erected at strategic places over this city, over this nation, over Houston, 
in the name of Jesus the city council over the seat of governance we establish the righteousness of God we said the council of God alone shall stand in the name of Jesus let's bring our prayers to a close I'd like us to pray one more prayer the Bible says a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand for as long as the church we are divided against ourselves the enemy will continue to have major inroads into the territory that God has given to us tonight is a great opportunity for us to come together under the umbrella of the name and the authority of Jesus Christ yes. forgetting our culture differences forgetting our skin colors we come together under Christ the banner of Christ and we establish the kingdom of Christ over this land over this city I want us to join our hands together and say the Spirit of God will bind our hearts together as one the heavens will hear only one voice and the kingdom of this world shall become the kingdom of our God because the church will wake up to our responsibility the church will wake up and realize that we are not enemies of one another we are not competing against one another we are the light of God and we are driving away darkness in the name of Jesus I want you to just pray that God will strengthen the bond of unity in the spirit of love amongst us the body of Christ all over from the north to the south the east and the west in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we have prayed in Jesus mighty name we have prayed now where I come from when we need to say amen very loud and clear and firm amen means you agree Amen. The amen means you are in agreement with us. We represent the body of Christ. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's put our hands together for the Lord, please. Come on, Hallelujah! Put your hands together. Come on, let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Time to worship. Come on. Come. Now is the time to give your love. Come. Just as you are to worship. Come. Just as you are before your God. We come.
Now is the time to worship God. Now is the time to give. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We serve an awesome God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I get a hallelujah in the house this morning? Hallelujah. 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 You know, when we go to India, when we just say hallelujah, and the crowd will just will, will scream out of the top of the bushes, hallelujah. Any, it doesn't matter, you know, you can go in any service. There's no need to tell you that. You say hallelujah. Everybody says, Hallelujah! Come on, so we're gonna try that here, alright? Hallelujah! 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 Joy to the world, Hallelujah! As I said in the beginning of the service, we are in a new season. I believe God is using him and Pastor Doug as he's been going around the city and several things happening. Now, Brother Reynard Bonke is coming into town in this coming months in February. Several things going on. The, the season is shifting. My dad prophesied a couple weeks back on a Tuesday night service. He said, it says the season is shifting and God is going to do incredible things. It's not even because of your prayers, but it's a new season that we are in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we want to welcome this new season that we are in. We are stepping in a new year. We are stepping in a new season. And we are going to be joyful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, everyone. Put your hands together. Joy to the world. The Lord is God. Let it receive a king. Let every heart prepare in room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature One more time. Joy to the world. Joy to the world. The Lord is God. Let us receive a king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the earth, the Savior reigns. Let all the songs employ what fields and floods, rock hills and place. Repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. Joy to the earth, the Savior reigns. Let all the songs employ what fields and floods, rock hills and place. Repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. Of his love and wonders of his love and 
churches. We welcome a new season in our city, oh Father. We thank you. We welcome you. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you're a good God. You're an awesome God. You're a mighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Pastor Gideon and I, um, we, this last year, we've been leading prayer for our schools in the city. And how many of you know that our young people need prayer? Amen. And we're not only praying for the students, but we are asking the students to pray. And so uh, we will have our next I Pray on Campus event January 17th. That's going to be at Church of the Nations. And again, all this information will be in flyers as you leave tonight. But um, it's, it's a time that we are training our young people to pray, not only for their schools, but at their schools, on the school grounds, and training them to be prayer warriors. Amen. Amen. And as I just mentioned also, you know, we have uh, you know, Reverend Reynard Bonke coming to town on February 20th and 21st. If there's any church that's not yet plugged in, I know there's about 400 churches and Doug is serving as the, uh, on the committee as the chair, chairman of the board. But uh, if there's any church or any pastor that's not really yet, uh, you know, in, involved in that, I really pray that, uh, that you will get involved because I believe it's a season for this city. I believe God's bringing other people from outside, but he's stirring the winds of revival in our city. Amen. Hallelujah. So God's bringing that. So the, the name of the website is called gospelcrusade.com, gospelcrusade.com. The next big uh, event is January 15th. There's going to be a prayer. Like we've been going around the city in several places praying. And the next event is going to be January 15th at the IPC Hebron Church, which is on uh, Beltway 8 going on in, in Pureland. And so we want to, uh, you know, uh, get involved in these things. I really believe that even uh, as, as I was telling you about how, um, you know, we've been in this auditorium in 2004 for the first time that, uh, you know, it just happened that we were going to have the speaker from India. And the last minute he had to cancel out. But the Lord gave a word just before that. He said, God's going to bring revival in the city through the people in the city. Amen. Hallelujah. God's going to bring, God's going to bring other people to kind of stir us up, but God's going to bring revival through each one of us. Amen. And in my dad, you know, and, and about, about a couple of years later, my dad actually decided to move to America. That was a big miracle by itself. And I know he's seen, he's seen revivals in Ethiopia and in also in India, like how God's used him in the forefront of the revival. And he said, I see that. And I, and I, and I see that, you know, starting to happen in our city. And, and the first time we did is we, uh, we had Pastor Doug Stringer do a two-day youth revival right in this building, you know. And, and I believe that as in the city, as we open the city up for the habitation of God, not just for a visitation, for a habitation of God, that God will come and visit our cities and that God will inhabit this place. Amen. Told you're going to have a baby. She was a virgin. Immaculate conception. Can you imagine how people must have looked at her at the time? She was carrying the Savior of the world. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Mary did 
did you know that your baby boy would someday walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy had come to make you new? That this child you delivered, oh, would soon deliver you. Oh, Mary, did you know that your baby boy would bring sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm the storm in his hand? Did you know? Your baby boy would walk where angels trod, and when you kiss your little baby, that you've kissed the face of God. Oh, Mary, could you know? The devil rise again. The lame will leap, the devil speak, and praises to the Lamb. Mary, did you know that your baby boy was Lord of all creation? Oh, Mary, did you know that your baby? Did you know that your baby boy was heaven's perfect lamb? The sleeping child you're holding is the great, the great I. Give him glory in his house today. He's a mighty God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Gideon, if you just stay here for a second as well. Um, we've all been praying and appealing to heaven through corporate worship, prayer, and fastedness. And many long before the 21 days, but I really sensed that we needed it. And it was a critical time to have corporate worship, prayer, and fastedness. And little did I realize when months ago I felt that, that strongly about it and that it had to be December 1 through 21, which was not a convenient time because it's Christmas time. It's time to eat Christmas cookies and things like that. And I'm thinking, no, it can't be you, Lord. And, but little did I realize that God had already had a plan and that with the Reinhardt Bunky uh, crusade coming, other prayer things that we're involved in that will have national implications, global implications that are born out of Houston, and as well as when ISIS and the, the polarization of things that are happening in race relations across the country, Ferguson, New York, Ebola, Boko Haram, all these things are happening, and God knows that the answer for him still is his body, Amen. is his church that though the world may pick up weapons of warfare, the church puts down our weapons of warfare against one another. We cross our racial and denominational lines and we pick up those weapons of warfare but turn them into harvesting tools together. The answer for our city, the answer for this nation, and the answer for the world is still God's tool, His church. It's always been His tool and it's our time like never before to rise up with the healing balm of God in our hands and to bring peace 
We talk about joy to the world. We talk about the Prince of Peace, goodwill to men. This is that time when the world can be focused. And if the church is yielded to the Lord, then we can literally impact the nations of the world from this place. In July of this past year, of this year, I was asked with leaders from different countries to go to um, uh, Philadelphia because Philadelphia is the hedgewaters or the point of, con point of first beginnings for our nation. When you look at scripture, when you look through history, when there's a point of first reference, it, you need to take note because you build off of those points of first reference. So I agreed to go. It wasn't a convenient time because there's always a lot of things going on on July 4th, but I felt this was an important time to gather with some leaders and we prayed for America because, again, from different nations gathered in Philadelphia, the Hedgewaters were the first Supreme Court was Philadelphia. The first federal city was not Washington, D.C., but Philadelphia. The Declaration of Independence was written in Philadelphia. The, uh, the, the Constitution was hashed out and began in Philadelphia. It was a point of first reference for this nation. And so as we gather together to pray and cry out for God to do a work in this nation, as people from other nations were here to pray as well, uh, a woman that I look up to quite a, quite a bit, and she's like a mother in the city of Philadelphia, came to me towards the end of the day, and she said, Doug, uh, months ago, someone gave me a flag and said that I was to pass it on and I would know who to give it to. She goes, and then the Holy Spirit showed me that one day I would give it to you and you would know what to do with it. I'm thinking, okay. And so she presented it to me. And it turns out, and I'd never seen this flag, never heard about this flag until after that, and I found out other people knew about it, like Dutch Sheets and Rick Curry and others, and, and had, had separate visions or dreams about it. And come to find out, this particular flag is called the Appeal to Heaven flag. And uh, they anointed it with three kinds of oil, specifically for our city and for us. When I receive anything, a word or a gift that has to do with what I believe is a, a prophetic call of God, I don't receive it directly, I receive it on behalf of our relationships in our city and those in connection with us. And so they anointed, they said it was first anointed with the Costmary oil, which has become known as awakening oil. And here's why. The Costmary plant, they would take the leaf of the plant, put it in their Bibles as like a, what do you call it, a thing, a marker. And when they were exhausted, but they knew that their only hope was appealing to God, they would take it out of their Bibles, they would chew on it, and would wake them up and know that they had to pray. It became known as the Bible leaf, but it came from the Cosmary plant. And then the oil was used even by those who, when they first started this nation, when they were coming against Goliath, the greatest military of the world at the time was Great Britain. And they knew that their only hope was not in the conventional wars of men. It wasn't in putting their hope in institutions of men. Their only hope was in an intervention from heaven. So George Washington, without an official military, with no official ships, at least six ships, and asked them to make this particular flag. And that flag was simply an evergreen tree or Christmas tree that we, it would look like to us on the cover of the white flag. At the top it just says, an appeal to heaven. And what that meant was, it was a quote that he took from John Locke from decades before, who wrote this big treatise, and, but the bottom line was, when all the efforts of men have failed you, all you really have is an appeal to heaven. All the institutions of men today in 2014 are failing us. The nations are raging. There's an increase of natural and human crises and disasters. Economies are struggling.